I this well of worship fellowship. It's Thursday, the fourth of April, twenty twenty four. Thursday means we discuss the top stories of the week in Uganda, in East Africa, Africa, and the world at large. It's been quite an eventful week, I think. There's been quite a lot happening, both locally and internationally. Locally, of course, uh, the latest news is the Constitutional Court upholding the Anti-Homosexuality Act. No longer a bill, it was signed into law by the president. And then some people petitioned the Constitutional Court saying the anti-homosexuality bill, no, it's not a bill, an act is against the Constitution. It infringes upon certain human rights and so on and so forth. Well, the justices of the Constitutional Court, led by the Deputy, Attorney, uh, Deputy Chief Justice, upheld the act. They only repealed certain provisions which they fail to are not consistent with the rest of the constitution. Now, if that sounds like too much legalese, I also don't know what I'm saying. I'm just saying the act still stands as it is. Of course, the petitioners have said uh, they are going to the Supreme Court. They feel like legally speaking, purely legally speaking, this was not a good decision. The judges, of course, upheld culture and promotion and things like that. They seem to appeal to the common sentiment, which the lawyers felt was not legal in a way. How can you appeal to common sentiment? But I also don't know which part of the world does not practice its law without its culture. Anyhow, you guys will advise, we'll speak about that. Okay, the ruling of the Constitutional Court. Uh, of course, the other thing making news in Uganda is... The Kabaka birthday run, which is going to happen on Sunday. There's been quite a few uh, dramatic scenes happening there. Uh, all sorts of people taking their contributions uh, for the Kabaka birthday run, taking it to the Katikiro's office. Of course, kicking off the week was the Speaker of Parliament, Anita Among, who took a package of 50 million shillings, accompanied by some MPs, including Wanumpuga, Matthias. Uh, never mind that NUP last week, I think on Wednesday, also went to Mengo to, 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 to deliver their package. Mpuga and a few others were conspicuously absent. So this time Mpuga showed up with the, the speaker. And then yesterday again, he showed up now under Masaka, but now would do him and Segona. Again, first they had a private meeting with the Katikiro, then they gave in their, their contribution. So that has made news. Whether it makes news for you or not is another matter. It has made news. I know we have beaten that horse. I don't know if there's anything left to squeeze out of it. Uh, but last week, again, I think on Thursday, after we left here, uh, Bobby Wine suspended Mbuga as deputy president. Okay, there's a letter that circulated, uh, Puga being suspended. I don't know why NUP prefers to conduct their business on Twitter, or maybe because most of their supporters are on Twitter, but yeah, they suspended Puga. So we'll discuss that, if at all there's anything new to discuss. Uh, but also, government has come out with some new proposals for taxes. If you guys have been following the news, the next financial year is going to squeeze us even some more. Uh, taxes on fuel have been proposed. Additional taxes, I mean. Taxes on cement. Hello. Have been proposed. Taxes, you have been hiding your money land. Now, every time you sell your land, you are a once five percent of that. You've lost me. Are you sure? Can you hear me? Anybody else? Can you hear me? Before I say too much, when I'm offline, yes, you're back. Can somebody hear me? You're back. You're back. You're back. You're back. Okay, super. Yeah. So I was saying, government has proposed a, a whole host of new taxes on 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 land, on cement, on fuel, on mineral water, and all sorts of things. Somebody is saying they're about to tax the air we breathe. But I was saying that one of the most common investment vehicles in Uganda is land or real estate. Now, government is saying, in addition to the 
stamp duty which you pay on your buying that property. Stamp duty is always 1.5%, I think, of the value of the land. Now they are proposing an additional 5% in order they call capital gains tax. Fifty million and you sell it at a hundred, they will want five percent of that a hundred. Okay. That's that's if the parliament passes those provisions. There have been so many other provisions about taxes. And of course, we've discussed tax discussed taxation here before. Yeah, so what does that leave Muntua? Where does that leave Muntua 1C in terms of taxation? They seem to be squeezing us more and more. Of course, that's on the back of uh, the, the Commissioner General, Ewan Musinguzi, being given another five year term for a job well done. So we'll okay. see how that plays out. Um, then, yellow fever, there's a certain campaign about yellow fever vaccination. This is funded, of course, by the donors. There's been a, I think it, it, it was launched today, it ends on 8th countrywide. They're targeting young people, especially children in schools. I don't know why they want to vaccinate children against their parents' consent. Many of us don't believe in these vaccination things anyway. But donors are pushing this yellow fever. Is yellow fever such a problem in this country? I didn't manage to do some research on that. But we'll see. I also know there's a malaria vaccine coming. We've discussed it here before. They're saying now malaria is going to be injectable. As well as HIV. There's another HIV vaccine being tested. So what what do these guys want from us? Are they that kind or they are pushing a certain agenda? And then in our social topic, we'll discuss is marriage for everyone. I felt that was a good a good one to discuss because I mean, is everybody cut out for marriage? Okay. Is it possible that some people are meant to be single for one reason or another? We we are told that marriage requires as a certain level of stupidity. Is everyone willing to be that stupid to stay married? And so on and so forth. So we'll discuss that in our social topic. But first, let's go back to the constitutional court ruling. Of course, we are not lawyers here. We are not going to give any legal opinions about this. But we give our opinions, of course, as observers of society and, and so on and so forth. Uh, the constitutional court ruling, the the... Of course, the petition has said they're not satisfied. They're going to the Supreme Court. And of course, it's their right. And, and I've, I've also seen the donors. I've seen the Secretary Blinken, that's the Secretary of State of America, saying they're not satisfied with this. The whole law should be struck down. I've seen the EU response. They're saying we are still studying this. We shall give a detailed response. I've seen David Cameron who is the equivalent of the Minister of Foreign Affairs of, 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 of England, also saying they are not happy and so on and so forth. So uh, let me start from here. The judges struck down certain provisions of, of, the, of the law, and then but maintained the whole law, okay? Was that in a way, of course, they, they, they struck down provisions to do with promotion. They struck down provisions to do with if you're a landlord and, and you, you have a an LGBT person renting from you, you have to report to the police. Or if you're a hotel and, and the LGBTQ act, uh, people in your hotel, you have to report to the police. So they struck down those kinds of, of provisions, but maintained the whole gist, uh, the whole spirit of, of the Anti-Homosexuality Act. They appealed to culture and said, yeah, this is against culture and so on. So, my question, Isaiah, let me start with you before you start moving. Can you have a law which is not in the cultural context? Because the, the, the lawyers have been criticizing the judges for assuming the role of cultural leaders, trying to uphold culture instead of upholding the law. But can you really have a law which does not sit within the context of a culture? In this case, Uganda. Let us start from there. Why are judges being bashed for having appealed to culture to, to uphold the, the act or the law? Is it, it depends on what on on their definition of culture, first of all, and then the use of culture in the context of this ruling. So I think that is mm -hmm. that is also very important. I uh, I am not a lawyer, 
And uh, besides, I don't even know what lawyers uh, would understand by culture in specifically that in that ruling, uh, as they call it, precedence. But uh, the 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 idea of uh, if the judges ruled and the defense of their ruling was was culture, then though I'm not a lawyer, I think that would be a a weak reason to give for for a ruling for such an uh, an important matter like that of uh, homosexuality. But again, uh that has implications. In essence, uh, that ruling has demonstrated that uh, they are not fighting against homosexuality. <laughs> the, the fight is, uh, is against or is between uh, two cultures. Mm -hmm. In other words, homosexuality is a, is a cultural issue. If, if that is what the judges are saying, then we need to review and ask ourselves whether that is so, that homosexuality is a, is a cultural issue. Uh, and it is for that matter that you have seen that uh, the whites are very much interested in this case and the ruling therefore. So you've seen the, the quick comments and reactions and responses to that ruling from Blinken, from all, from all powers that, uh, that be. So I think that really uh, justifies the ruling of against homosexuality in terms of culture, because uh, the judges in Uganda have uh, exhibited that uh, there's a certain culture that wants to force itself over or against the other. And this culture also is, uh, is fighting. But again, laws are made uh, within, within cultures. So to answer your question, I think, yes, the law has way too much to do with the, the culture of the people uh, where that law operates. It has way too much to do with, with that. We are left only with only one question to answer. Is, uh, is homosexuality a cultural problem or, or not? Because for us, the theologians, homosexuality is not just a cultural problem. It is, uh, uh, it is a fault in the system. It, is, uh, it, it demonstrates Absolutely. that... It's it is a factual <laughs> not, 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 not actually even a factual defect. It is uh, because a factual defect, then you'll be justifying that I was born like this. In other words, uh, if someone was born without a hand, you cannot blame them or even legislate against not having a hand because someone was born without one. The only challenge, like I've already said here, is that homosexuality is, homosexu homosexuals are the only sinners who would want the public to accept them with their sinning. And I find that ironic and, and madness because instead of them being identified with the people with disabilities, POWs, they want them to be accepted as normal human beings, which is, which is unfair. But for us, we insist that uh, there's something broken uh, in a homosexual and uh, he or she needs help wherever she is and uh, what is broken in there is not just a culture but what is broken in there is uh, is possession is a desire misguided desires is a choice and these things can be reversed if they continue to be castigated if they continue to be put in their rightful places, homosexuality is wrong, then we can start on, uh, on the rehabilitation. But there is no way uh, restoration can happen uh, in a community that, that is defending its own brokenness. So to me, I, uh, I support the ruling against homosexuality 
the justification of uh, of culture to me is uh, is a weak one. Thank you, moderator. Thank you, there. Sato, are you there? Yeah, um, I'm there. I come from this issue. Uh, good good evening, uh, everyone. Good evening. Uh, uh, this is quite uh, a sensitive issue, but uh, it's sensitive just because uh, we choose to, to even make it sensitive in the first place. So as our moderator was saying that uh, the ruling was culture based, I think uh, the role should be in the context uh, of the society that it serves. Mm? So, uh, really, if it is the law uh, of Uganda, it should be, uh, it should follow like our our indigenous uh, culture. I don't think there is any tribe uh, in Uganda that that initially was, you know, was mm -hmm. accepted such kinds of people as as uh, that was taking homosexuality as something that is illegal and uh every time you read you reinform yourself you when you really uh shine some light into this issue of these people trying to push uh this homosexuality bill onto us it is like they want their wishes uh implemented in uh in our own country, yes, you can't you can't deny their existence. Uh, they are there, but they should know that those it's, it's abnormal. They should know they are abnormal, and I, I can't advocate for their maybe like castration or their them being put to death. But once they are uh, once they are there, they should know they are abnormal and. I don't think it is even the adjoining case. We have issues which should be discussed, eh? you know, like in the parliament. I know it is being brought even back to cover up these corruption cases or what they want to put at the public, like on hits that maybe they can divert. But so whatsoever, whatever the case, um, I, I, I think homosexuality bill was, uh, the way it was passed, I think it should, be, should remain like the way it is. So that it is our young brothers and sisters who want to uh, start now identifying as whatsoever they need, so that they being kind of disciplined or rehabilitated, like how Muzei, Muzei had said. So that is my stand on those things. But I, I, I don't think anyone deserves death. Like in, in the process, they should be rehabilitated. But it's that homosexuality homosexual should, shouldn't be uh, legalized because it will affect all of us. I submit moderator. Yeah, have you muted yourself again? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I was talking to myself. I was saying, these guys who, take, who, who push democracy down our throats, telling us the majority, the majority have decided. For me, culture in this case also means, at least partly, that majority of Ugandans don't want this thing. It's a general feeling. It could be misguided or whatever, but it's a general feeling and 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 an agreement within Ugandans. They don't they don't like LGBT. So why don't these these uh, prophets of of democracy want to accept what the majority of Ugandans want or don't want for that matter? That's what I was trying to say. Uh, Peterson, are you there? Oh, okay, so you want to respond to that. Why this this these guys who want to respect democracy? Why don't they respect what the majority of Ugandans want? Which is they don't want this thing in their country. It could be yeah, misguided. Sure. They don't want it. 
Yeah, really. And they have spoken. And I think that's why they're even bringing it like at this time where there are some other things to, to, to talk about, such as they distract the population. You conduct a survey in Uganda, you'll find above 80% are against that kind of thing. So they really want to impose their 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 briefs, um, their briefs on us, just like how they have infected many of us. Because you, when you think about it, we are even using their languages and quite not. So their culture, okay, has heavily influenced ours. You can't deny that, but uh, they should also count some sense in us. Some some things we might have our own opinions and we might want to live by them. It's not like we have to re-implement what the, the, the structures they have um established. Mm. And also, if I was to ask moderator, why 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 was it brought back? Are you thought that thing was crossed? And you know the, the, the last nail was put in the coffin. I don't know why is it being brought. What do you think it is? Kind of like a, a like something to to cover up something or to bring heat in the in the population or something. Well, you cannot deny that there's politics behind all this. Okay, whether you're pro homosexuality or anti. They are fund as well as money on the other side. Eh? That's what I can tell you. So not everybody who's pro-homosexuality necessarily actually believes it. Some of them are just doing it for the money. Yes, yes. Of course, it's a, it's a huge political issue. You've seen even campaigns in the US and other places. They want all the candidates to pronounce themselves on this issue. Besides the economy and health, education, they want you to pronounce yourself on this on this issue. So it's it's really a global phenomenon. The reason it came back, I suspect, because it had been brought before and struck down, like you've said. The reason it came back, I suspect, is because some lobbyists went to State House and said, you know what, let's do this. Maybe we'll give you this amount of money. So there's money on either side of the debate. Eh? That's what I can say. Both for and against. Okay. Okay. Uh, Hello. Hey, what what do you think, Ped? Uh of course, me my stand. Um, I've been the advocate of uh, of uh, I've been against it even the time when it was presented by Basaira, and uh, yesterday I was actually very sad about the ruling of the. Of, of, of the constitutional court. I thought that the constitutional court was going to squash it. But anyway, we have to move with uh, what they have decided. Eh? But the key things that I get from here is uh, I ask myself, what, how did you, wh where are all these things coming at this time? Because homosexuality has been uh, a vice that has been there for long. But then the question is why you want to regulate it now. And if you guys remember the time when Basari represented this, it was not only happening in Uganda, it was happening in Tanzania, it was happening in Ghana, it was happening in Marawi, uh, which other country, were, I think even Tanzania. So it, it the, these laws were being presented around the same time. So the question is, there's a campaign which is... Uh, which, which is probably wanting to promote this. And uh, in a way, they want to, they, they, there are some forces that are actually trying to promote this. If you guys have been watching football, you realize that the, 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 the captain's armbands, the football, the, there's a lot of, uh, of, of uh, visibility or advertising for these guys, eh? even in, uh, in football. Then these countries bring the law around the same time. So really, I, 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 I think there's something more than homosexuality. Isaiah tried to say that uh, for him, he's not seeing morality here, but uh, I, I, I am also on the same thinking as Isaiah. But me on my side, me, I think it's, it's somehow there's some politics at play 
here and uh, you people, you need to agree with me that the world is again being divided between the West and the East. So Africa is supposed to decide where you belong. Do you belong to the West or do you belong to the East? The, the geopolitics are coming back, the times of the Cold War. That's why we're having these wars in Europe and then uh, even now Israel and all that. So really, we, we are, it's, it's something, it may not be homosexuality, the, the moral beat, but it might be more than this. We may be looking at politics at play. The way these whites are really, really, the, the, the Westerners are really, really promoting this. Eh? It's, it's just more than, uh, more than just uh, what? Uh, a, a, a practice or a vice. Then number two. Now, me, my issue of why I don't like the bill is because of the economy. Because a country like Uganda is a small country in this global economy. Our 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 budget, what we budget for, we can only fund about 50%. The rest of the money we borrow and we are depending on donations and uh depending on donations and, and foreign inflows from these 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 uh, development agencies. So if if you decide that you want to stand on your own, then how are you going to sustain the economy? Because right now, even the economy is really biting. I think it's one of the things that we're going to discuss, increasing taxation. But then you're increasing taxation. People are not, the economy is not doing well. Then even the little money that we've been getting from uh, from these countries is going to go. But remember, we're at a time when we're going for campaigns, when people need to, when uh, our politicians need to spend like our president, that means the money, all the money that the rich is collecting might now go to one particular area of politics. So that means the service delivery on 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 these uh, other sectors is going to be affected. So I, I'm, I'm, I, I, I think because we trust our leaders, most especially M7, being a very wise man, probably you could have weighed all these things here and maybe he has a way out. But for us, we're just discussing from uh, the little knowledge that we have. But it's worrying, eh? seeing the tough times probably that uh, we are in right now, and then also looking at uh, at at where we're heading, 2026. So me, that is my concern about the economy. Are we going to survive without these guys' money? And yet we're going to a period when we have to spend a lot of money. And then uh, the other last one eh, is really right now, as we talk, we are a global village. Sometimes uh, decisions, you don't have to make decisions because of your small culture. You have to make decisions for a bigger village that we're in. So either the, there's, there's, a, there's a boss who is influencing the decision that the constitutional court or what the parliament said, Oh, but anyway, so the, the boss says it has, has to be from the east or from the west. For me, what I think, this geopolitics, so probably there's some force that is pushing this guy, saying, ah, you cut your ties with the west. For us, we're going to uh, cover you up. If that is so, that these guys from the east are going to cover us up, then... I'll be okay. Then they will not be complaining. That's why uh, me, I'm discussing from limited, from a point of limited information. But if that window is there, then my concern about this law will be covered. Uh, that's what I can say, Jed. Well, I don't know if there's anybody willing to bankroll Uganda's budget. At least I've not heard that. Maybe the so Chinese. Uh, the Chinese cannot give Africa as much money as, as the West gives us. So if it was purely from a financial point of view, I don't think it was a good financial decision, but I think we've discussed here before, should the only consideration be finances? Okay. What, within what are we going to take and what are we not going to take? If the only consideration is finances. And of course, that launches us into the the taxation bit, because 
and it's good you brought it up. Uh, the 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 budget has been increased to fifty. Is it fifty six trillion now? Fifty eight. Fifty eight now. Uh, last year, URA was given a target of twenty nine point something to collect. They collected only nineteen. Okay, next financial year they've been given a target of thirty one trillion out of the fifty eight. So obviously the other one is going to come from either domestic borrowing or external borrowing. Now, with, with the law such as this one, the Anti-Homosexuality Act, of course, donors have been pulling out left, right, and center. Last This week, I saw they pulled out, was it from an HIV program? I forget the name. Basically, they've been pulling out left, right, and center. Is that probably also why government is increasing taxes? We've seen proposed taxes on, on fuel, extra taxes, uh, proposed taxes on on land transactions and real estate for that 5% of the gains. We've seen proposals to tax mineral water, bottled water, and things like that. Tom, can you talk? I want to start with you. You want to marry these two ideas, or is it these two topics? Basically, we, we can, for how long can we resist this, these guys? Who fund 50% of our budget? Are we being realistic? Should money be the only consideration when we are talking about these guys? Ah, you can keep your money. We shall survive. We shall not die. Is money the only consideration? Or there should be more at stake than just the money? Okay, seems like Tom can't, can't talk. And then later he'll come and accuse me of not calling him to, to say something. Yeah, so Peterson, let's talk about the budget. Again, I want to start with you because you are the resident expert here. Are we being realistic, really, <laughs> with this new budget of ours? Yeah. 50, 58 trillion. And we can only collect 19 the year before. Are we being realistic by giving you a target of 31? <laughs> okay. Uh, of course, we are not. And... Uh... And uh, these are the discussions we always have from here. But uh, me, I'm going to start from what you said, uh, from where you started from. We trust that probably some of the decisions that our, our museum makes, the the are serious decisions. Because you see, for example, in this one here, uh, the politics are there, but then the, the, there's too much to do with the finances and with the economy. So your question, what you're asking, eh? Should it be for should we accept everything because because of money? I think for now, yes, because we are vulnerable. Otherwise, if you don't, then we're going to run broke. Then what happens when people are broke? You, you know the reason why Ugandans are comfortable because uh, the there are no so that we don't have so many riots because people are somehow comfortable. If someone has food, if someone has uh okay, actually, if someone has the basics. They may not go on the streets to riot, but if uh, these basics start going away, then it can easily cause a political uprising. So, uh, you 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 may actually you you, you know World Bank, for example, has been giving us five point six billion every financial year. So if you add even these other, uh, okay, you, you, they give us fifty percent of our budget. So if you add all these other ones, the development agencies, EUs and uh, UNs and all that, so then you, you find that uh, people will be okay. Somehow people will be okay. The money from World Bank somehow trickles down and then people are okay. They are comfortable, so they stay in their homes. They don't need to, to worry about what the politicians are doing. So if you take away their little source of income, uh, can't it cause an uprising? So that is one thing that probably maybe the president could have considered. So for now, we are that vulnerable, we're not yet there. So we still have to accept whatever they give us at any conditions that all the strings attached we have to be, we, we have to accept. Then we, when, when you talk about the, 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 the budget, uh, our budget is mainly uh, a political thing and uh, that's why our biggest expenditure is on uh, defense followed by infrastructure because infrastructure we have we have uh, developed uh, 
a feeling that the moment we, okay, M7 has believed that the moment he builds roads, then it means that he's doing something good for what? For the, for the economy. Where we haven't, I haven't, I've never actually read that report of saying if you do a road from, from Soroti to Moroto at uh, $300 million, uh, if you give it five years, maybe before it starts getting uh, problems, eh? how much revenue in, in, in five years have you increased from Karamoja by putting up that road? So you do a cost-benefit analysis. Eh? Of course, some of the things we don't do them, but you know what happens is because these infrastructures are used as, uh, as, are used as political tools. Eh? So people who are staying... Uh, in 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 Moroto, they will, they will be like, hey, the president has done for us because he has constructed for us a road, and then he's going to come back. What he's going to come back next year? So basically, our budget is full of so many things like that for for political work, and uh, that that's why the other thing that you're going to do, you you had brought in of the taxation. I don't know if we have to talk about it now or it will come in later. Talk about it now. Let's talk about it now. I, uh, me, I, uh, because of our greed and our, our gratons, we want to eat as much as possible. But then remember, we're poor. So now they have cut off the source of revenue, which is external funding. So now we have to look internally. Internally, it means we have to collect money from revenue. So if the thing which is that she has to collect 31 trillion, now why where is he going to get the 31 trillion? He has to increase the tax base. I I am happy about the 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 capital gains tax on uh, on land. And in fact, I would still think that the five percent personally is little money. It should actually be made 15 percent. And yeah, um, Yes, my reason is this. Eh? You see, Jet, if when tax is progressive, when you're taxing the rich and taxing the poor, little money, it is much, much, much better. Because you see, someone who buys land of one billion and you're saying that you need to pay five percent of that one billion, do you know how much that is? That's about five, that's about fifty million. Hmm? So 50 million of someone who is making a transaction of 1 billion is nothing to that person. That's one. That's why when, when the tax is that progressive, when you're taxing a lot of money from the rich people, they have the money anyway. They may not even feel it. Then, and, and actually, by the way, this is the same tax system. This is the same tax system in the UK. You know these footballers. You can hear that... Uh, Kevin De Bruyne earns 500k per, per week, but you find the taxman takes half of that in taxes. So these guys who are earning a lot of money should be taxed. That's one. Number two, uh, real estate and land has been the source of money laundering and corruption in Uganda. So people who steal money in government they hide it in what? In, uh, in, in, in real estate. We have discussed here several times where you find the apartments in Bunga, Nigeria, which are, someone has an apartment block, but then it's not even occupied. But does he care anyway? Because the money is not from the bank. The money is not from what? That money was supposed to do a health center in Paris. Huh? So it's now, it constructed an apartment block. So it is okay, even if it is there and it's not being watched by. Uh, you guys know some building opposite Christ the King near near communications house. Some glass building, it's uh, about eight stories. It has been there for close to seven years. And not hey, by no. eh? the one you, yeah, I know that building is. Yes. It's called by King Caesar Morengi. It is. It mm. has been there for about seven years. It's not occupied. It is there, but someone doesn't really care because he's not losing anything. So now, 
why we need such taxes is is because if that building was eight billion, eh, then you bring back fifteen, and 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 let it go back to the economy. So me, I would think that the 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 tax on uh, capital gains is is a tax that we need. We need to increase it probably to even twenty percent or fifteen percent, so that it can one reduce on the uh, on the money laundering through real estate. Even the prices of real estate probably would would now become realistic. Those things of finding that you're buying a uh, hundred by a hundred at one billion will probably reduce. Then, two, we're going to get money from these guys because you see those things of Drake owning thirty arcades. And he's is is only paying uh, rental tax to KCCA. Some of those things you, you find that they have uh, we are getting more money from these guys. Eh? Then two is uh, these indirect taxes. The indirect taxes are actually very good for Omuntu Awansi. When they charge you VAT on a bar of soap, if you're buying a bar of soap at two k, and you find it at uh, two thousand two hundred. Eh? It, it might be easier for someone to be, eh, okay, they have increased by 200, but it might not be a serious shock. Uh, like when you go and actually want to tax someone's pay. So me, I would think that uh, these exercise duties, the VATs that are bringing up are very good. They should put those on commodities. If you're taxing cement, it is okay. People who can afford cement, should be able to afford to pay those taxes. But the things for Omuntuwa 1C eh, should be left unpaid. Like which one's paid? Those basics that people need, like the, the basics people need to move. Uh, the, the, now the, fuel, fuel, fuel is going to be taxed as well, an additional tax. You know, you've seen that. Uh -huh, Once yes. fuel goes up, everything else goes up. Uh, but it's increasing by, by, by 500. Which may not be because the shock will be there. Seven per liter. Yeah, Jed, do you remember before COVID we used to pay fuel? Fuel was over three k. You remember? Yes. Uh, but now it's five thousand five hundred. Eh? But the jam has never reduced in Kampara. You know why? No. Because because people. Who... Know the increase only one hundred shillings. Is it five hundred? It was one hundred. Hey, but 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 you see the reason why do, do you know the reason why do you know the reason why even if they increase fuel the 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 people continue moving because people who move can afford to that one is not a shock to them why because, no, because, because us, they have to move Pedro. they have to move they have no choice <laughs> if you have to go to work it doesn't matter hey, you have to get of getting there yeah, but you never packed your car because fuel doubled the price. Remember, it moved from 3K to almost 6K. Yeah? So Even the jump is... Then at some point, then it came down. You remember? Uh -huh. So so me, on those things, eh, I will not have a problem. Eh? If if the things that will not shock shock the economy, the things, eh, eh, the, the normal things that you use at home, uh, the, the things that you use at home, soap, what salt, what, what, those ones can remain... In uh, in in good ranges, then uh, it will be okay. And 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 you're taxing them indirectly. Then you you can tax directly these the rich people and the good salary earners. Those ones you can tax them directly. So me on the taxation part, uh, I'm, I'm I'm speaking as an economist. I think it it is okay. We need money. We need money. Just that we need to use it in the right way. Okay, thanks, Ped. Kato, let me come back to you before I go to Isaiah. What, what are your thoughts on this new taxation regime? It seems like it's the same people paying more and more taxes. And, and also, Pedro, maybe the other thing that's going to happen in land, if you, if you start taxing every transaction, what's going to happen is what happens in cars. When we buy cars, we never transfer ownership. So I buy a car, I drive it for five years, I sell it to another person, I never transfer it, sells it to a third person, never transfers it. So you are a minister of works will never know that actually the car was sold. That's what's going to happen to land as well, I suspect. Land will be sold like three times before someone actually goes to register it. 
register that transfer. I suspect that's what that to Kato, are you there? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think about these new taxes? Okay, they're not some are not new, some are new. But basically the taxation regime. Have you been following the story anyway? Yes, I've been following and uh, mm. talking to Pedersen. But you're very low. Can you speak up? Yeah, I've been following, eh? listening mm. to, to those of you. Eh? Sounds uh, a bit informed um, than me, a novice. But really, these things of taxes, honestly, they just suck. And uh, it would have been at least um, good if I told maybe if we, this money that is corrected is uh, is used in 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 a good way. But now you see, even even if it is put there, there is the same people there up in the government misuse a lot of it. So uh, it's it's unfortunate, but. Uh, it is something that I myself, or as we discuss, have control over. Uh, whatever the, the, the president needs shall be passed because he will rob his ass leakers in the parliament and they pass whatever they want, but uh, it won't be uh, something that is uh, that is good for, for the majority. Like, for instance, putting, again, putting taxes on fuel Fuel is already expensive, and you know fuel when you put there a lot of tax, it, 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 it affects almost all the uh, all the, all like all the businesses. We shall have to see increments in in very many things. But I also agree with Pedersen putting uh, putting whatever tax on what um, in this snow wind situation if they are to put. They can now steal our common of what, like on property investments, these things of land. Because if someone is trying to buy land, at least they have mobilized some resource. So uh, the government should what should tax it. And uh, yeah, I, I I just hope before they can, you know, look on to increasing the taxation. They just first regulate uh, the, the misuse of these taxes. It, it it would it would sound uh, more cool if they would tax and you know you find things are done you know uh, in a proper way yeah but you see whether they corrected the tax or not it ends up in embezzlement and you know you I I think you you all get what I'm trying to talk about so I uh, just throw I submit that's what I can say about. You, you economists don't care about Muntua once clearly. You're just saying bring on the taxes. But ultimately, the rich never pay taxes. It's the poor people who pay taxes. Isaiah, can you talk? Yes, I can. Meanwhile, I don't know for how long. Hey, you talk about uh, the new tax taxes. Yes, I think uh, I agree with uh, the person on the issue of uh, taxing the rich. Neither uh, and uh, better than, than the poor. I also agree with the person uh, dividing these tax certain areas. Uh, for instance, uh, fuel, soap, sugar, kerosene, uh, posho. I mean, food stuffs, those should not be taxed. Uh, I agree on that. However, that's not the case in Uganda, unfortunately. Uh, the poor are taxed more than the rich because, you see, those countries that tax the rich more than the poor, they have uh, a big number of those who are, who are rich, or at least those in the middle class. But here in Uganda, we do not have, have that. So for me, like I've always said here before, uh, there are two frames for this motion. One is in policy, the other one is taxation. Taxation is a crime to against Ugandans by, uh, by our leaders. 
it is something that we have not uh, reorganized, uh, reviewed to make sure that we, uh, we customize taxation for our, for our abilities. And I know the reason for that. The reason for that is because someone outside Uganda has uh, has fertilized our breed. Then uh, that power has made sure that uh, we live uh, we live outside our means. Hence the borrowing of our budget each and every time. So I wish we could uh, we we could review our standard of living because someone has set a standard of living. And uh, of for us, which is not us and ours, and that is why we are uh, we have such a budget of now fifty trillion, where we have uh, to collect nineteen between nineteen to twenty two, uh, painfully indeed, and then we borrow the, the rest, which which in the future that again comes back to us. So if we had uh, leaders who who are not uh, victims like ourselves, because our leaders are also victims of uh, of the ghost that determines our standard of living. So if you have leaders who are not victims like ourselves, then they would have recognized our standard of living, then we would go back to, to, to nature. But now, what we have, we are living an abnormal lifestyle, which we have to pay for uh, all the day, all the time, all the us. We are going to pay for that. Our children will do the same until maybe in the future we liberate ourselves. And that's why I am I am angry and bitter with the whites. Because I, I don't know why they uh, leave us with this pretense of hypocrisy. And yet, they could just come and be in leadership directly and organize our countries like they have organized theirs. Okay, they wouldn't even be struggling with these homosexual views in parliament of these twenty people of us. So I wish they could come and lead us in the right place. Okay. Then they will participate in our economy, participate in our politics, participate, participate in our industry work. <laughs> and I can assure you, we would, we would be having the same problem. I mean, since they are advocating for, 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 for globalization, then this is the chance to do that. If we talk over these African countries, instead of uh, abusing us and hurting us with these things. Otherwise, the, that whole thing will continue and will be, will be like that. So the taxing lands and, uh, and big deals of, uh, of the real estate business is going actually to increase more severely. So the thief has been stealing uh, money, not expecting to pay tax. Is now going to steal the money that has been stealing and now steal also the tax. So it's just going to be the same. I am worried. I am worried. The president should, uh, should come up with a remedy of stealing and uh, that remedy cannot be solved by taxation because he believes that people should steal and invest the money here. Now, those thieves had had given to that tree and team and they had started investing here. Yeah, you can see the mass women that came that's the investing them and the houses that have been built. But now he wants now to tax they are what they have robbed. So the thieves are going now to start robbing more so that they can also uh, be secured from their debt because the fact that they are thieves and they are stolen money, they, that, that number space they don't want to operate within the, the system. So they just have to steal money for those taxes. And the cycle will continue. It will grow and grow and grow. I am, I am worried. I am worried. My only solution is a difficult one. We should review our, our lifestyle from a national level, not even from an individual level. But from a national level, we our lifestyle. Are we living by our own standards? No, we are living by the standards set by other parties. Thank you, Chair. Okay, thank you, Isa. Tom, can you talk? Okay, great. It seems like we have only paid Katran and Isa. Why are you stable? Hey. 
to get the taxation to get the anti homosexuality bill baden pull it just say you watch you kwata ku kwata ku taxes ekye misoro simanyi simanyi siroza ikipeta ga trillion zero na zone now kubanga trillion zero uh abantu abafuna omusala abakozi ba government eba eba ziganyuruwamu ah uh, siroza ntweta aga engudo ze tulina kati tuli engudo za fe bakozo olugudo nga lulunji nyo ne bateka mu rambo streets bakozo olugudo nga lulunji nyo ne bateka mu hams akokabonera akengu kunara akala akangamba we are not ready for those roads bali bade batukolera maramu wa fe nga wa grade nnunji ne ebino ebiyo kudira olugudo kubakati Uh, tunuli lo kuma etirinyi okudde palisa okudde mbale okudde kumi palisa producing achi okuwarantinga sente zo zo nazo na okuzite ekawo palisa kiche producing ekigende kumi kiche producing ekigende mbale that's that's what I, that's what I was actually asking also Sisi ya producing wa kujia eno mchivuga. Te wali. Because I am from there. Wali wadao gamba. Nti opio atatule misoro. Yeta go rugudo lulunji. O rugudo lulundu itamu omurundi gumu every three, three months. Sometimes no. Nizo. Okucha ya miezi nge ene etanu. Nga sivu yiseko. Katuwa achiba kwa ata sent. Nibazi teka muro rugudo. Echi lala. A, a, abantu abafuna omusala mu government newa ne bafuna omusala oguba sobozesa okwama singa billions and billions of shillings nenga bazije mu government siro zanti twetaga sente zinozo nazo na zinozo nazo, nazo ne we, we, we need money yes nenga fuso bolo ku pandinga pesa ka singa abantu tebali greed Echirala, echa echa tax baden poliza petitioning ayogera ku 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 taxation anti amafuta bagongere sinji bitano ah uh, property tax yes kubanga omuntu alina obusobozi obwa kwairinga property oyo alina ku send oyiba mutaxing naye bo bakwata amafuta ne bagongera ko sinji bitano Agendo okusasula sente zo ye muntu omu kusere wa wansi ali omunyo anywa sukali ali nyama atambula mu taxi atambula mu bus abo be bantu abagenda okusasula emisolejo singa government yabade targeting abantu ab, abakozesa abaline motoka yali bade gamba nti motoka ezo buyonjo ekika kino zisasulenga sente bwezi nazino 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 ne okutira omusoro baguteke ku mafuta ne bataguteka kubanga ne bataguteka ku moto kitegeza omuntu wa wansi yagenda okuikalinga expense yo mu kubanga ye 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 end consumer owa bino byo nabyo nda ekira nzendo za government ni yali bade mpocho okunyigiriza abantu abatawera bukade bubiri abatole emisoro Zendo na government ni yali bade e broadening base. Ne soka e gam e supposed sa abantu oku 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 kola cottage industries ne bajjako omusoro omusamu samu no muntu ali mukatale naye najjayo na nazo tuno omusoro kubanga okusuro omusoro motivating factor ya kukola. Okudira okudira abantu abeta ba mu busubuzi ne batabajja ko omusoro ngabalo ozanti bantu ba wansi ne badira abantu abalina abalina abana manufacturing ne bintu byanda obateka ko omusoro omunje ero omusoro ogo omuntu ono wa wansi wo mukatale nsebe ligwalo ozanti yali badamu sasira omuntu oyo ya any up to the employee ne minji kubanga bo bakola sukali oyo ya ya unywa bo bakola ngoye oyo azambala amafuta oyagakozisa tonze ndo za government e, 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 e,
egaziye ku tax base sikuongera kubilika bantu misoro egaziye ku tax base ekirala abantu abali mu government bakendeze ku burugube nianza sebo moderator <laughs> Tuanza tum. Um, okay, we have forty-five minutes to go. I don't think we need to discuss Mpuga again. We've discussed him the last three weeks. Uh maybe Tom Gatun again. Politics are <laughs> mango, maybe. Kubatu wala yo sendeza kawakazu run. Mm-hmm. What do we go very that? Uh, last week, I went up from again. That, but we have to have a good talk. Take a man. But I meant we have to show again. We have to be able to move. I told you, I'm not going to be able to do that. We can change again. I'm not sure. Briefly. Kati kati simani simani mengo bo ya ora ku politics. Kuvanga politics wa fe okufa na nanga bwali. Owe guru, owe lida, owe karamoja, mengo, e, inamu o mkono kumanga. Evi ntuvi nji, pengaba na Uganda, getu kopa kubuganda. Getu igira kubuganda. Uh, Walue evi ntunga kubuganda is a first setter. Kati, kati, sima, sima njiru wachi, wachi ya gara kuwa ula mengo ku, ku politics wa Uganda. Sina, sina chinele nyote ingenda kugira kutini, mba chinyakato kupolitika au kutukezi. Katikiro ya nilizabu li mtu. Katikiro ya nilizabu li mtu. Katikiro na ye ya nilizabu li mtu. Na ye agamba. A, 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 a mwanyi, a mwanyi miufu. Zine <laughs> eza yelo. Bileria. Oyo ya ya nilizabu li mtu. Oyo politics ya rabu hati. Kumabu ogamba ya nilizabu li mtu. Obanga, obanga ayagado kugamba. Niki mengo is a politiko. Tonga, 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 Tavilo Yevi Ufuzivi ya Uganda, Bili Mengo Era, Wakubwa Mseveli ya ya Rabuka, Na Ajinyweza, Na Ajinyweza, Na Ajikariga, Singate ya Ajikariga, Mseveli ya Libadari, Ile, A lot of Africa ya Libadari, Na Yavana Po, Wa Mengo Era. Wa Mengo Era, 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 Hmm. Ngamba ngamba tu teo sende za 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 kama kabati derani. Chema dene tegeza ni zaburi. Kati hicho 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 gele koi. Batu geta baga la wakazi sende. Amu ya wakami amu ya wakami mama waga la sende mumbuli ni nyakupwa wazuna zema waga. Babi 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 actually actually. Ba, 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 ba politicians balekerao kugende mengo kubanga baba gende mengo ba, balisa 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 hydra gendo kutumi la fena fena ok ito tuchile kawo tuka tugende ku social topic ya fwude mtuli ubi um, when i was thinking about the social topic it's been said by some people that I'll never get married. Marriage is not for me. Why we have a such a and so on and so forth. I think even in the Bible somewhere, Paul says those who those who can remain single should 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 remain single. You know, but what what I wanted to find out is, are there actually people who cannot get married, or are there people? We just can't tolerate each other. Okay? Because I know marriage is about tolerance, it's about being stupid, it's about bending backwards, it's about all sorts of things that a who you would call a sensible person may not be able to put up with, you know. So in this day and age where many young people are opting for just you know getting children without necessarily committing to each other, in this age where sex is available. Why why should somebody really get married? Okay, I, I think that's also another question you can add. Why should somebody really get married? 
where they can eat food, they can get sex, they can get their laundry done without necessarily committing. Okay. Is it actually true that some people are not meant for marriage or not built for marriage? In our traditional African societies, both boys and girls were prepared for, for marriage from a very young age. That's why girls had singers who used to teach them, and then boys had kojas as well, who used to teach them, and their fathers who used to teach them about working and providing for their families. Girls were taught to be homemakers and nurturers. In this day and age, you don't have any of that anymore. So let me let me start with the single person on this call. Kato, can you hear me? Do you think some people are actually not cut out for marriage and why or why not? Um, I like the way you're starting with an, an inexperienced person in this. Uh, yeah, this kind of the people are saying it is not for you. So you're uh, representing yeah. that group. I, I will have to learn more from from you guys eh, who have who have companions how it is going. But sometimes I meditate about it and I feel like living with someone is not a piece of cake. You have to have, you know, like a lot of tolerance. I, I be fearing ending up with an idiot or what, like such, me myself, I know I can be a problem to live with, but then a, a compatible person I can, you know, um, maybe be compatible with and tolerate, eh? even though they might be stressing, but at least uh, a sustainable a sustainable, you know, stress, like not ending up with uh, with a very good slay queen that will wreck your, that will wreck my my life. But uh, giving like kind of like a cosmic perspective on uh, on marriage, I don't think it is it is ideal for everyone. Uh, you, you can try it if. If you appreciate it, but you see now in the society, oh, our culture kind of forces it, and it is the thing that is uh, enforced in almost everything. By default, even someone who is not interested, uh, he has this pressure to kind of like pair up. Eh? It, it manifests from maybe if you're someone who consumes movies or even parents, everything is, is cooked. Uh, towards having that special person whom you know you can pair up and and produce children and now maybe uh <clears throat> given that uh now what we see in the world really we are many there are lots of people people used in health resources from parents what uh the land and what not but now most most of of the youth, eh? those ones that aren't like from privileged uh, families and whatnot, you find you have you know zero resources to to start up family with and whatnot. So you have to work your your ass off before you even start thinking of you know having a family and whatnot. And that's when if you care about the quality of children that uh, you want to produce. Mm -hmm. If you don't give it a thought, yes, you might end up with your wife and you produce uh, these children that might have maybe sketchy standards, uh, you know, sketchy uh, quality. Maybe, of course, I'm uh, I'm trying to <clears throat> evaluate the quality based on me, what I think is, you know, what what is what I think is important, but still we all have are different, uh, we have different values and whatnot. So marriage, for now, I don't think it is all that relevant. We used to be a few. Uh, that's why like someone whom, whom would like produce twins uh, would be glorified. But I don't think uh, at the moment it is true. That, that ended, we are now over I think now in the world over 8 billion. So we are really many and 
and and and I believe, of course, I'm saying this that marriage, uh, its core purpose is producing children. I don't know if if you aren't producing children, I don't know what that is. Uh, maybe Priest White can tell us about that. But given that me the way tech marriage is producing children, and uh, there isn't any agents in maybe in procreation and whatnot, so. Uh, people who are really into it uh, can give it a try and uh, they get frustrated as maybe you mm -hmm. people who already have experience mm -hmm. is, 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 is present. Okay, Kato, you have brought it from the economic angle. Since marriage yeah. since can come from marriage, then if you're not ready financially, maybe marriage is just not for you. Is that what you're saying in brief? Uh, yeah. Also, if you are not ready to tolerate this stress eh, that comes with it and, you know, the responsibilities, no one wants a broke man. So everyone who is, who is trying to come is trying to at least utilize the, res the small resources that are gathered, then you also build up together. So... Yeah, I see it in that in that perspective, uh, Jethro. So, how is that? I submit. <clears throat> okay, thank you. Ebi, can you talk? I need you on this one. Ebi, are you there? Okay, AB, AB is driving to heaven as usual. Pedson, what, what do you think? Uh, me, I'll just, I'm just going to add on, uh, I agree with uh, Kato on uh, some aspects uh, where he's saying society tells us that everyone is supposed to get married. And uh, that's why you see everyone wants to get married because society tells us that i think the only people maybe who can be exempted is where the the biology does not allow so those ones and the the, the very few maybe it even doesn't reach one percent but uh the normal you mean biology doesn't allow the ones who are not normal Biologically, the coward is mind you. So there is dehumanization. Those who don't value family. Ah, uh -huh. firstly, me, I'm talking about the the, the natural ones. Who are probably the important you, ones. You, yes, the important ones. Eh, where you don't function. So those ones, it's uh nature has denied you. But see, uh, otherwise, a normal person, society dictates that you're supposed to get married and 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 because sometimes even this is implied remember when we were young we even used to play these games of uh, daddy and mommy when you're still very young eh, so you you're growing up knowing that uh, after a certain age then you're supposed to what you're supposed to get married so society has dictated that and uh, largely, most people who get married are following what society has already uh, set up. But then the other thing is uh, is is that should we, as in, is it is it supposed to be? Me, I would say, give it a try because Kato actually said, give it a try. Then, if the things burn, you you can run away. So you can give it a try with an open window, and then you you can run away. Uh, and then me, my stand is, uh, I think there's a problem about uh, uh, marriage, which is uh, related to ownership. And, and, and right now in this 21st century, it's the one that is uh, causing so many divorces eh, that we are having right now. Because of, uh, of of that thing about ownership and entitlement, so a man gets married to a woman, then you start calling this woman, "This is my wife." You start calling, "This is my man." 
So meaning you have exclusive rights because that's what even the, 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 the actual marriage that we talk about, the, the, so the marriage that we're talking about, the religious marriage is you even make vows, you even make vows in, in, in church where you say that my body is now yours and uh, you, you even agree that you've separated with any other opposite sex. So whenever you get married and you even put on uh, that gown and that ring, then your mind starts telling you, now this is my wife, this is my husband, exclusively, exclusively. So but whenever- you know now that's uh -huh. now that is where I'm going to now that is where the problem is because you see jet does is 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 nature that exclusive because that is where the the gist of the question is is can you can can a man be exclusively for one woman or can a woman be exclusively for one man because here we are asking a question of nature hmm, versus society, okay, so, uh, morals in a society. Whereas the religion tells you exclusiveness. Hmm, what does nature say? Uh, uh, you, 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 you get where the debate is. Eh? What does nature say? Really, yes, men are in marriages where you find, yes, it's one woman, one woman. But uh, if, if, if it wasn't for these morals, if you trust this person in a corner pro properly, this person will tell you, ah, me, I would want to go and explore. So it is uh, nature calling, telling you that, you see, you cannot be with this woman for the rest of your life. Or it, you cannot be with this man for the rest of your life, but because of society and the moral, uh, the, the 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 morality that is attached to the, the the vows that you did, then people are confined to that, and that's that's why marriages end up failing. Because on this side you have nature calling, on this side you have morality which is saying, ah no 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 no, you cannot do this. And uh, then what happens is uh, marriage fails because marriage wants to cage something that cannot be put in a cage, which is nature. So that is where the, 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 the fix is. But if, if marriage was not caging uh, nature, because nature meaning who we are, a man and a woman who we are, if nature was not caging us, then, 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 uh, but then would it be marriage? Then we'll be okay. But the problem is, is that marriage wants to cage something that cannot be caged. May I have ever said here, this is if, 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 if you just imagine you don't own a car and uh, you just wake up, whatever car you find, you drive and go, and where you leave it, you leave the key there. I think we'll be operating very well. So the same applies to, to fellow human beings. Eh? What is killing us is that ownership. Because yes, we are by 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 nature we are selfish. So you want to be entitled to one thing, but then, for example, if you ask a man, a man will be like, "Me, I want exclusive rights of a woman." But then the guy, I, I want exclusive rights over my woman. I don't want any other man to encroach my territory. But then if you ask that guy, be like, but me, I, I, I want to get something on the side. The same thing with a woman. If you ask her, she will say the same. So me, I think uh, marriage probably may not be that practical uh, because we are trying to put nature in a, in a prison or in a cage. Which, which cannot actually contain it. And that's why we are always on the streets, we're always chasing things here and there and there. And then whenever you chase and then they get you, then it becomes uh, a scene. Eh? 
which is uh, really bad. I'll give you one uh, story. In, uh, in, 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 in our church, there's, uh, okay, not, not, but um, okay, in Anglican church, there's uh, a couple that used to do marriage counseling. Very, very good guys in terms of marriage counseling. I think they had been married like for over uh, 40 years with even grandchildren. Very, very good couple, like what they mean by a good couple. They come to church together. They are, they love each other. They are okay. So recently, the couple stays in Bugorovi and also wealthy. Recently, the woman discovered that the man has a young girl who is uh, almost the age of uh, their daughter. And uh, not only just having a girlfriend, but the guy has even already built for her. And I think they have about two children. But the guy sleeps at home every day. And uh, he's always home on time. So what do we learn from this is that, yes, you, you can be a good person, a church person, and a very morally upright but there's that call for nature that you cannot avoid. And when it has come, trust me, you always uh, service it. So me, I think that, uh, yes, you can marry, but then leave a window of uh, you can open, you can close. So you can get out, you can come back, you can get out, you can come back like that. So you don't have to seal all the entries because there you'll be killing yourself thank you okay <laughs> a bit the, point, the, yeah. woman, the woman mm -hmm. almost the, the woman the woman is uh, you know the thing before you run mad there's that thing it's called what over not the stress there's that thing where someone not depressed eh? but there's that stage maybe the Isaiah's remember but that stage where some you, you, you see like if if you've had Tamari Mirun speaking, eh? you see like there's a wire that has moved off eh? because of maybe, eh? so the woman is now like that. Just because the guy, she got to know that the guy has a, 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 a girlfriend. And mind you, by the way, this girlfriend has not taken away any resource, okay, has not taken any resources from her. The guy is always at home on time by five is at home watching NTV Akawunges. So <laughs> but then the woman is, is she has lost one wire. She's now like a mad woman because of just the information she got to know. Okay, thanks, yeah. Pete. Okay, Pete's point. Uh, Kato made a point about economics. Those who are not okay economically should not be married. Of course, the social topic we're discussing is, is marriage for everybody. Okay, Kato seems to say if you're not very okay financially, because marriage is supposed to have children and children involve taking care of them, not just in other ways, but financially. So if you don't have money, please don't say marriage is not for you. Benson, on the other hand, is saying because of the nature versus nature debate, Man is an animal, he can is nature is not exclusive to one partner at least. So because of that reason, marriage really is not for some people, especially those who cannot control themselves. That's what I've understood. Those who can, can should go ahead with their exclusivity and monogamy. Those who cannot, maybe can opt for something else, polygamy or polyamory. That's what I've understood from Peterson submission. Tom. Is marriage for everybody? Why or why not? Uh, marriage is uh, is an invention. Ngavola ba umuntu boya iye motoka. Marriage is not for everyone. Hey Tom. Yes. Can you get a mask? Can you get a mask? But the but the police is a head of late. Gagamba and Tiariba de Kirunji, or Kuvera Safe, or Kuvero Muramu, or Burundi, Novango, Ninaoka, Window, 
Ndo vule ite nkwe unji za lero. <laughs> na ye, na ye, na ye obufumbo. Obufumbo buateke wao, buateke wao abantu. Abo umuru gube, abagala okufuga, abalala, abali selesi. Echuto kwa obufumbo. Ensonga yangu si ya kuzara. Kuwange ndizi, ente, emisota, ingamira, ezitali mfumbo zizara. Okuzara weta agajasi uh, functional organs. Ngolimula mu, okuzara. Te weta aga mfumbo. Uh, Nenze njaga la kuroza nti, kiawa kazi, beba iya. Beba tu iya, neba teka mfumbo. So, so, okuda mwe chibuzo butele moderator, obufumbo sivu avuli omu. Ya denga, sasa ya terabi kange gama, ya asali mfumbo, tatu ukiride. Na yeso saya te, eri imba mwecho. Bobo ya garavana, zara, vana bo, bakuze, tofumbi watu wasa, wango obufumbo, sivu avuli omu. Obufumbo wa abantu haba maliri de okwe siluwa za no kufugi wa. Mbobato kongumile edyo, it's okay. Siro zanti, zendimu kwista yobanai, siro zanti katonda alina tabu no mtu ngasimu fumbo. Ah, siro za. So zi jala kuro zanti, Kama nta bayi ya ufumbo, nda peso ni waya yogete. Bayi ya kintu, neba kitu siva. Netulo zanti kintu chiru unji. Ne kintu ya chitu marako, chitu marake mire mbele dembe ya fe. Fechirimu, fechirimu. Fuburu unji boto sobora kufuna walala. Kubanga abantu banji, <coughs> baza dabana. Nenga siba fumbo, niba wakuza abana avo, niba vamu abana avalunji, niba vamu avakule mbeze Obama, te ya kuli da mbubu fumbo. Obama ya kula na njina. Obama ya kula na njina. Ne ya fuga ko, ya fuga ko Amerika. Hmm? So okuroza, okuroza saba, nukuba siba endoze gamba. Niki atali mfumbo tatu ukiride, atali mfumbo to zara, atali mfumbo to lina sanyu. Sofa ya tendoza ya, ya fuko la bubi mwecho. Hmm? Ni anza sewa moderator. Kale sewa tomu tu ya nziza. Aize. Jolio tu use waka. Aize. Yeah. Abantu wa uli de. Eh. Uba uli de seu. Kwa yaga langu de seu. Kwa yaga langu wa uli de seu. Uwendo uze. Sibu na uli. Kwa imu. Mamba wa densonga za economics. Abalala za nature. Abalala za... Na mbubili mani medi, mbea fosi vya avuli omu, mbuga mboja. Niki soka, vya nabi ngendo kwa kena njaga la mutegere, ti mwenaba likuwe no koro. Mbada yeta, tu kumpe mwa nende chika tulabi. Nancy, <laughs> Naisha, are you there? Ah. 
Papa, okay. sorry, my, my microphone was off. Can you yes, talk? Papa? Yes, I can talk. Is marriage for everybody? The world who no. for the body are not good for marriage. <laughs> marriage is not for everybody. Why? Some people, some people genuinely lack the the emotional ability to accommodate other people, and uh, you cannot be living in a marriage with someone when you you don't have the ability to emotionally connect with them. Some people genuinely they cannot they just don't have the ability to get out of themselves to to do for another and to, to allow another to be. Some people don't have that ability. And it be learned. They, some people we born with and we learn it. Um it's like a disorder or something. Hey. The person when the person genuinely does not have that ability some people genuinely do not have feelings sexually no matter what you do for them genuinely in their their body doesn't have that ability so um it is something of that nature it's like something of that nature they don't have the ability totally biologically to to uh, accommodate another person and uh, summer, I, something new to them. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, marriage is not for everybody. They don't have it, and they cannot learn it. Yeah, some cannot learn it. It is not. It is beyond their uh, ability to get. So when such a person gets into a marriage, Chebaba Bagendo Kola Omana Wabandi. On both sides, by the way, not uh, it can be a man, it can be a woman. Ngabambi genuinely nga kwegambanga tasobola emotionally bonding an amount to abantabamu, a chin cha sobola o kubeda is they are just duty oriented people. They are meant to be workers. Nga and that's it. to embrace you, to accept you. Because in a marriage, we need to be embraced and accepted by the other party. Hmm? Okay, how, how do I know I have this disorder? How does somebody know? In all relationships, in all your relations, survival for the fittest for everything on just about anything just to get what I want and I am the only one who matters everyone else is secondary they they don't even have a place literally Myself and I, period. Yet a chuka, Kubanga ya beda mutufu. Mwemu ino kuchuka, Kubanga ye kwa gamba beda anga God is gift to humanity. Ye, yeah. beda anga God is gift to humanity. Nti ye, ebibye vyo kabyo kabye, ebibye da bino kubeda. Everyone else must start just for, for that person. Mm. So, abantu weba cho jebali. Chovola ba ne, ne katonda na ye ya cho, ya chi, ya chi. Yachi hintinga ko. Yachi hintinga ko. 
na 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 gamba nti si waliwa abantu abamu nga tebato ndebwa kubeda na banabwe nga kuva from the beginning they were supposed to be alone they are, kwa gamba bo baliwo ba ina kutegera kutegeza mission yabo ne batukiriza mission yabo nga kubanga bo basobolo jitukiriza kwa te basaba kwa touchinga they cannot attach to anything they are just only for themselves and what the, the goal they are supposed to to um, reach kati abantu abo je bali omuntu oyo asobolo kukola the worst thing and then they just don't understand why you're offended because according to them it makes sense you should not be offended you should understand that this is how things are supposed to be why are you offended eh abantu abo je bali skabinga banasi anyway Mm. Thank you, Nancha. Yeah. I, Isaiah, can you too? Good day, good day, Yeah, I am here now. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your time. Echi 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 kolele Tuina kusoka kutegela che tutegeza no gufumbo Wanga abantu ukubela neba nawe no gufumbo biyao kani Echi nitu kino tujia kushida ngambuli kasera wano o gufumbo Teka eriku wata kubintu Ebya mfuna Aha, akati obufumbo chebuliko. Noluecho, obufumbo bwabo abagali ebintu era abali nebintu. Kakando oze echo chia manichida mwechi uzo chose. Obufumbo bwabo liyomu, nida bwabo abali nebintu era abagali ebintu. Kati wawa ye chibuze ichirale ichi na chonso ulo kuchidamu. <laughs> Wadu tani kwa wakambi tuwa ulo bufumbo na ukubela na nebana na fi. Kwa ukubela na wana. Eee. Tuwa ulile mwao. Eee. Kati wawa ye bufumbo kati ukubela na ukubela na wana. Eee. Kakati muso ulo kusala o. Nga mwine evi intu. Ne musala o. Obuta veda mbufumbo. Ne musala o kubela mwembi. Echo chiri nomo, chiri nacho, era buli muntu, a, a, in fact, kancho gere wenti, buli muntu wate kukubela ne mune. Tewali yo muntu, nga ya ina kubela yeka. Nina tewali wonomu kumuachia agaro kubela yeka, tali yu. Newe tubela feka tetumatira, tetu ulira burunji. Era ne wetu bera feka. Abantu wala betu sisinkana. Bukwa tegira muno tu bera feka. Teba tuwe sigaburu unji. Kubanga te wakule wako bera weka. Tu watu wande wako bera na bantu banafi. Problem eri wamu waka waka. Nti fenate tunaba kukiriza. Nti echoche tu wakule wako bera. Nti tu wakule wako bera na banafi. Kakati amazima gatu ula okukiriza kwa gana na okutegira gana kwa gana. Wetu wa tegira mnutu ino kubira ni wana fe. Tuwa gala o wana njini kumuntu. Abantu wetu tatu onda bafe. Nareche chile tovu ziwecho. Nchiono mukazi wange. Guo tatu onda. Yalekera okubeera omuntu yetengere dekati muntu wo chintu chyo property yo 
ne onumsajja wange kakati ebintu ebyo bya selfishness bye birimesa abantu okubera bombi mukazi wota yinza kweba kana musajja mulala ne musajja wota yinza kweba kana mukazi mulala kate musola kubera muende Wati tuwa gala mtu mula ina ina musako ya fru. Na hati nisako ya fru ni jatusi gade mwaba vidi. Na hiyo njini njini uh, tekola. Tekola. So, so ndo ze, ewe vye vizibu. Ze, ze ndi so bored. I'm so bored. Kukuzine nsonga. Ezaba ntuwa kubela wunano ufumbu. Na hiyo boto mula ini tute kukujuki zaba ntuti. Balikira ukuteke subi muteka. Esui waliteke mubantu. Chimuchi akubiri. Obusungu wale mekubo gezanga bi nituwe bi, vikikina bi, bi, day. Nzo muku bantu wale disappointed. Mulirationship uzi nezo bufumbo. Emirundi minji by the way. Mbade disappointed. Nganze. Atina ngendo uza njina bi disappointed nze. Na ye. Chino, chino, chino chienji ze. Uh, tuta bi nkiri ze teka na ukube la gana naba nkua balala. Chimuchi akubiri, obusungu butu ogeze vini tuwe vini nilabu tukweza decision ni nkakari. Netusara hundi katika ambereze ka. Nilabu antuwanyi wakweza decision ni yo sijia kuwasa. Sijia kufumbiru waka ambereze ka kankore sente zani. But life is empty without someone in your life. Echo chimuchi okubiri, mute kwa kwe wala o endo oze gamba. Nti ogenda kufuno omuntu akuwe mirembe. Omuntu wa kwe mirembe joka joka, oja kusiru wala, oja kufato, oja kura. Ote kufuno omuntu kwe mugendo kuruwa anana ye, no kuruwa anagana na ye. Echo chiri part of your living. That drama is part of your, your health living. Kata yo drama ojeta aga. Norecho, omuntu ye na ye na, Ata ato meruandiga era gubata alawa. Ate kwa, ate kwa bute kwa okubeda no, no mtu omulala. Niwa nange katonda ya tondo omualo. Vamu ita na gano kuga na tani kutuchi ankara. Bea gali hivyo. Chairman, chairman wama. Omuntu yena yena. Ata ato meruandiga era gubata alawa. Ote kukumera ni munu. Ate bwosu sinka na munu. Muve mwebi yevi nitu mbutu kore mba gatu gende. Ewe nitu mwelekera wevi nitu wevi echi siru yevi. Suko vera no munu. Vera ni munu. Tuvele uwe zao. Ate muandi badewa. <laughs> Why? Muandi badewa. Sao. Andi tubela honga abantu wa febe manye wa achiri, andi tuli wa. Andi mugende mubagambi, kati cheta agisa, cheta agisa mukoro, wakubagamba. Ah. Hey, hey. Kakati, kati wachi muspendi inga sendi, tezo, nazo na, niti mugenda kukugamba bali, wakugamba abantu cheta agisa vidara. Yeba antu chaba teko kumanya baitha. Kakati, ebi, 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 Hama muku fetono nye sente nyingi nyombi nduwe uye chisiru. Chovula atetu cha kubili za bantu kubikora. Okuwa ta milioni ya tanu nozi teka mumbaga. No kuwa ta milioni ya satu nozi teka mkwa anjula. Katu e, 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 uruva nyumaru wa mwezi kumuno uchizula nti ono musiru tate gira. Obusungu vunji nyo bujao. So mba te singo ba dene, wandi teke dene manguti musiru, and you move on. Pwede so nichiyewa gambi, niti ya madiri sakate kukupa magure nzi jibwe muzi gara. So, so, evi nitu vi nevi ya monogame, ne poligame, evi vi nevi ya nevi ya, evi ya mutade wawo, vya chisiru, elabi ya agulavi. Eri ya vantu kukupe ilagana. So, so find someone funo omuntu goya gala na ya kwa gala mubere mwena. 
Ate mubere mwena kumirembe jabu liomu. Buli mtu mubuze mirembe jojiri luda wa. Ntinze kubera na muziko guange na nawe kubera na gugo. Nze kubera na nyumba yange na yukubera na iyo. Tusisinkanenga wetu. Mujia kubera u. A emirembe jange kubafu mnyumba ye mtu vere mnyumba ye mtu. Aha, mubere u. Evi nitu vina muna anso nyiwa, banadi niti mwagala kubi ulida. Na ye NC wano wetu, tetucha asobo la kubi ulida ba antubi nitu vina vya monogami. Evi yokatu vivu ulida ba siru. Ero vivu ulida ba tanda ba kubi itamu. Atete tu ulida ba bilimu kubi vamu, temu vivamu. Buhiba viva kolida, temu vivamu. Buhiba tevikola, muvivemu. Tetu genda kutia kuchogira. Mubirene songe ntu feziba besa muembi. Mpuli na bantunga bagamba, njoli gundi tanjagala, njagala kwa senti. Gwomu agala kochi. Kwa nungu tuwa tegede chenjo gede? Mm. It, is, it's not wrong omuntu okubanga kwa agala kwa senti. Ozili na answer. Yeah. Aha, kati gwomu agala kochi. Olia kwa agala kwa senti, gwomu agala kochi. Hewali wa ina answer? Musi mbaba tulimba ndewe fula ntino mbunze mkwa gala like I love you, 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 which is nonsense. Anti, 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 anti kakati, chetuwa gala. Nae, tulikuchi. Nae, chijie kwa, chijie kwa kwenye kolo, chijie kwa kuda kumande, chijie kwa pilche ya mamani. Ebi ya ino uvu yo. Mwechiva, 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 mwechiva ngolia kwa gala kwa sene. Nga gwe, nga gwe, nga gwe akuo mera. Nika tuchogere kwe tuchosu wechiri. Hmm. Eze suanga zima roo kuvera muhimbi. Ngo mwase ntenga ya kuo mera. Nga na ya kuo mera. Eze suanga zima, te wali narutalu. Kakati. Olia lukubanga kwa gala kwa sene. Haleto inza mutu wala mubi nitu ya koza vitu na kusimu ula nyumba. Mwe sene, adje kwa sene zimu, habana kusimu ula. Mwa luwa tegira vya njo gira. Nchitege de. Mwe bali nyo. Obufumbo, vitu vya mwita, vya mwita obufumbo, mwe mwika njini njini, tule mye, we have failed to live together on terms that we have understood. Amazi maga mu abantu, echita relationship za fe, abantu abamu, tuga na amazi ma aga tuole kedua, omu ntu omulaba ya gala senti. Kakati gweleka kumuka, neyo nja gala kwa senti, nze tuwa nja gala, evyo vileke. Gwe, gwe, gwe inache omu agala kuhu. Ye, chiri was sente zino. Ye, ofunye omu ntu. Kumu ntu omu funye. Tekira woku nonye. Ofunye no omu ntu omu runji ama nyiche ayagala. Ntiboteka wano gwe, noteka ni wano sente, aronda sente. Oyo omu ntu murunji ama nyiche akulachi. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chairman Museka, but this is where we are. We have to come straight. Kumanga ye pedison ichi ya kugambi, ya gambe tugende mu contracti. Haba ntumu saini ingenga, niti tugenda kumana we miyake, vidwe jiku wako, tunalabo ba tunadamu. Ya gambe niti exit suzirekenga anzigule, ne entrance suzirekenga anzigule, permanently mu marriage. Echi hava zungu bachi kule bachi ita contracti marriage. Nika katuwa gatu semvule. Awa zungu wachiba ina kantuka weta signing print up and not signing it. Kubanga, omuntu wa kufumbiro takuwa gala nga kubaze kwa sent. Kani mwene mwene signing wano, niti mwetuna ya wakano ntajia kutuwa la wade chikumi oruva nyuma rebanga wehiti. Nika kati yechi singa ama zima gega tule mie. Singa tuteka ama zima muridation ship zafe. Tujia kutambula. Unfortunately, we would have to wait. They could leave it down
Tujja kubiddamu mwe bale nyo basebo ne banyabo. Tujja kudamu ku Monday. Yeah, Kama bakume bye bye. Alikali.